Hello everyone, Darren Easton here, Product Manager for GitLab Runner. In today's demo, I'm going to cover a feature that we are enabling on GitLab.com in the 14.3 release. It's a variable and signed variable, otherwise known as a nested variables expansion feature. If you'd like to follow along in a bit more detail, you can check out the issue in our GitLab Runner project. It's issue number 1809 and it's titled Use Variable Inside Other Variable. So let's go ahead and pop over into our development environment and take a look at how things are set up before we actually start the demo. So I've got my project ready to go. And the only thing I want to call your attention to here under the CIC settings menu, and then expanding the variables section, is that I have a couple of variables that have already been predefined. So let's just take a quick look at the values and how those two variables are configured. The first one with key value equals to protect the underscore var, that's configured as a protected variable. So the protect variable flag is checked and the value of this variable is my underscore protected underscore variable. And the other variable that I have set up is titled the keys equals to secret underscore var and the value is my underscore secret underscore variable. This is a mask variable. And so when we get into the actual demo, I explain what we expect to see with this variable handling versus the other variable handling in terms of protected variable. So let's go ahead and pop over to our repository and you can take a look at how things are set up. And just to set the stage, for the first iteration of running the pipeline, currently in this environment, the feature flag for the nested variables feature is not enabled. So what you'll be seeing here when we run the pipeline for the first time, you'll be seeing the value as it exists prior to us enabling that feature flag. So if you were to create pipelines similar to what I'm about to demo here tonight, um, this is the behavior you'll get today, and after we enable the feature flag, you'll see the new behavior. So let's pop into that um, pipeline file and take a look at how things are set up. So as you can see, this is a pretty straightforward definition, but there are a couple of things here that I want to call out. So under the variable section, we have three variables defined. The first one is pretty straightforward. It's just var3, this is the variable name, and what we are doing with var3 is that we're appending a string to the value of the variable name equals a secret underscore var. So my secret underscore variable is the value that we are expecting to append here to this string. Var2 is a little bit more interesting. In var2, we're appending a string, but we're also appending that string to a new variable var1. And if you notice here, just in the logical structure of the pipeline file, we have not yet defined var1. Where as you can see, we have now defined var1 later on in the file. So var1, as you're seeing here, we're saying var1, the value of var1 is now equals to protected var, a variable that you define in the CI settings menu, and it's also appending the CI pipeline ID value to, to that. So var1 is protected var dash and appending the CI pipeline ID. And then here, what we're going to do in the script evaluation in section is just basically do a bunch of echo statements just so we can see what those, you know, how GitLab's um, pipeline handling or variable handling capability as is today handles expanding those variables. So again, to recap, I'm going to execute this pipeline, but right now for this first run, the feature is not enabled. So let's go into the pipelines. And just let's run a pipeline really fast on the master branch. So that should take a quick second to kick off. And once I'm done, it should be complete in just a few seconds. Ah, here we go. So let's have a look at the output. And I have a screenshot later on where we can compare this in a bit more detail. But you can see here in the output of the screen, kind of what's happening. So in our first echo statement, that looks as expected because this is a pretty straightforward variable definition. Val1 is equals to the value of the the protected variable um, that we had set up earlier on, which is my protected variable is the value that was returned, and then also appended and returned the value of the pipeline ID, which in this case is 22. We see, however, that things fall apart when we get into the echo statement for var2. So try and still do the appending of the string when it echoes out the value for var2, but then it gets things get a bit confusing. It does not expand today the protected var values, nor does it expand the CI pipeline ID values. The other one here on var 3 is also the same. What's interesting is that it recognizes today 
that that variable is a secret variable, so it returns the value mask, which is kind of what we expect. And so when this is one of the reasons, just kind of looking at this example, with these sort of like three different scenarios, one of the reasons why sometimes understanding how variable expansion is happening in GitHub today could sometimes be a bit interesting, if you will. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to pop over to my other console, and I'm actually going to enable the feature flag. And let's just check and make sure that's actually enabled, which I believe it is, because we did see a return value of true. So now the variable inside variable feature flag is enabled on the GitLab instance that I'm using for this test. And so let's rerun that pipeline. And then we'll compare the values and compare the results. Takes a second here to get going. Ah, it's done. Okay. Uh, we can just see here right away that the output is different. We just kind of quickly jump over and we look at the output values for VAR2. To um, so make this even a bit more clear, I'm going to bring up another screen where I actually have a couple of screenshots from a previous run. And so we can compare the output side by side with the actual pipeline find definition. So I'm just going to bring up our pipeline file so we can kind of take a look at it side by side. And so if we recall in our pipeline, what we said was, okay, we've defined three variables, var3, pretty straightforward. var2 is a variable that's defined as appending a string to a new variable var1, which we're defining lower down in, this, in, in the pipeline file. var1 um, is a variable, and we define the values of var1 as pulling in the protected var variable, which we defined in CI/CD settings, as well as the standard CI pipeline ID variable. Uh, and so in the first job output, where the feature flag was not enabled, you can see what the values of results are. So var1 expansion works okay, but then when we got to var2, it did not expand. You're getting a result here where it's giving you the string of test for var2, but then it's just giving you very odd protected var and then pipeline ID. var3 is doing the mass variable okay. And then in terms of protected VAR, East Coast protected VAR, that's working um, because that's a very straightforward um, um, expansion. Now with a feature flag enabled, right away you can see that the variable two expansion, which is again, VAR one, this value appended to the string test is working correctly. So in a nutshell, this is what this nested variable expansion feature is, an, is, is enabling on GitLab, on, on, now on GitLab.com with the 14.3 release. And as it gives you the ability for certain, for including um, nested variables within your pipeline file and the variable expansion feature will take care of expanding those variables correctly in the response job output. Now there are a couple of interesting scenarios that aren't covered um, with this new nested variables feature. And what we'll do is I'll point to updated documentation and notation in our docs um, when we release 14.3, as well as an additional notes that we will be adding to the variable inside other variable feature here that describes those scenarios. But at a high level, that's it for our demo. Um, check with you next time. Cheers.